Today, we are fixing up the most wonderful ever Thanksgiving sweet potato casserole, and you are just gonna love this recipe. Hi, I'm Melissa Diane, and on this channel, we just have so much fun in the kitchen and out in the garden and just all around our home, and I think this is gonna become one of your favorites. Here are the ingredients that we're gonna be using today for our Thanksgiving sweet potato casserole, and I will put all of the measurements and all of directions for this recipe in the description below the video. The first thing you're gonna need, obviously, is your sweet potatoes. And you're gonna use probably anywhere from four to five sweet potatoes for this recipe. You're gonna to want to have some milk, have a little bit of sugar, also a couple of eggs, two large eggs, and then for butter, you're gonna need two sticks of butter or four of these little halves. You're gonna need some vanilla, and then for the topping that you're gonna to put on top of this casserole, you need three things. You're gonna to need to have some crushed up pecans. You're gonna to need to have some flour and then some brown sugar. And if you'll notice, I have all of these in little baggies, and that is because I prepped this yesterday. So I like to prep for all my casseroles the day before. I'm gonna cook them, it makes it a lot easier, and I'll make sure at the end of the video that I have um, a video on prepping and how to do that real easily, it'll pop up for you. So be sure and check that out. So now let's jump right into it. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a pot of water back here boiling so we can cook our sweet potatoes. So while that is getting ready and coming to a boil, I'm gonna go over and peel all of these sweet potatoes and I'll be right back. I've taken my sweet potatoes and I've chopped those up into some smaller pieces and we're gonna go ahead and put those in here now and let this come to a really good boil. Let these little guys cook really good. We're gonna leave these sweet potatoes in here. Probably, we'll check on them in about 15 minutes. While our sweet potatoes are over on the cooktop and they are still boiling, we're gonna go ahead and get started on our topping for our sweet potatoes because it takes a few minutes to do this. So we're gonna take a stick of butter. I got two of these little half sticks. We're gonna put this in here and then I'm just gonna kind of chop this up just a little bit. And it's been, this butter has been sitting out for probably about an hour. So you wanna let it just kind of sit out while you're doing something else. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in here my brown sugar. There we go, brown sugar. And you can see I had these also in little baggies because I got this all prepped yesterday. We got some brown sugar and then we have our flour. So we're gonna put this in here. And we also have our pecans, but I'm not gonna put those in there quite yet. And then what I just do is I sit here and I just kind of mash this up and you just mash it and mash it and you just kind of cut that butter, cut it in small little pieces. And you may have an easier way to do this and if so, please in the description let me know. But I have just usually found, I just take this butter and I will just cut this into small pieces and I'll do this just over and over and over and then I'll mash it, and you're gonna get a really good consistency with this. And then we'll put in the pecans. So we're gonna sit here and do this, and I'll be back in a few minutes. We are doing really good. I have just been mashing and mashing. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in our chopped up pecans. And these are just plain pecans. Sometimes I have put in, they're by Fisher. They're called um, Honey Roasted. And I love those pecans. They are so, so good. And sometimes I have used those in this. But today we're just doing just the regular pecans. And we're just going to mix this all around. This is going to be a wonderful topping. Another topping that's really good and it's really easy is when your casserole right before it's done, take it out of the oven and just put some marshmallows, some little bitty marshmallows all across the top and then put it back in. And um, if you're not someone who likes nuts and pecans, oh, that is a fantastic topping. That's actually, I think, my favorite, but my family really likes this pecan one. Our sweet potatoes are now all ready. And what I do, just a little tip, is that when these uh, sweet potatoes are all, um, when they're over there and they're cooking on the cooktop, 
and when they start to float, then I know they're getting close to being done. And I think these went for probably about 20 minutes today. So you're gonna go ahead and put in your stick of butter or two little halves. I just, I really like using these half sticks instead of a whole stick because a lot of times all you need is just a half. So I'm gonna put this in here. We're just gonna mash this up really, really good. If you want to sometimes, you can just drain your, um, your pot and then you can put your um, sweet potatoes back in that same pot that you cooked on over on the cooktop. But for me, it's easier to manage just to scoop those little guys out and put them over here in a nice big bowl. If you are not a huge sweet potato lover, you know, I'm not. I'm not just a, normally a big sweet potato lover, but this recipe, it's kind of like you're turning these little guys into candy almost. They are just so, so good. It really is smelling good just with that butter. Now we're gonna go ahead and put in the milk. And when you get these completely done, they're gonna be a little bit soupy, not terribly, not like a dressing will be, but they're gonna be a little bit. And that's okay, because as they cook, these potatoes, these sweet potatoes, it'll, they'll absorb any of that extra liquid. Now we're gonna go ahead and put in the sugar. And I told you we turned this into candy. There we go. We got a cup there. And what you have to remember, I tell my, all my family and my friends that on Thanksgiving, all of the food that you make, everything's calorie free. That's just, so you can eat, eat, and eat. That's like your free day and you won't gain any weight as long as you do it all on Thanksgiving. And now we're going to take our vanilla and put just a little bit of vanilla in there. We'll put two teaspoons. One. Two. two teaspoons of the vanilla. Let's get that all stirred up. And now we're gonna put in our eggs. Let me scoot this over just a little bit. It's so gonna crack the eggs. And then we are going to beat these little guys just a little bit. Okay, let's dump that in. There we go. I tell you what, that vanilla sure smells good. And now we're just gonna Continue to mix this all around. And we are just about done. And then we're gonna take this and we're gonna pour it into our casserole. I already took my casserole dish and I put just a little, I sprayed a little bit of um, cooking spray in the bottom. So let's bring that over here now and we're gonna pour it in there. Okay, here we go. We're gonna be using this today. I'm hoping this will work okay because usually I use one a little bit bigger. I just thought this casserole dish was so pretty. I wanted to use this one today. And guess what? I think it fits perfect. I haven't used this casserole dish for this dish before, but I sure do like this. I might have to use this dish from now on. Let me scoot it up here. It is heavy. This is a very, very heavy casserole. It may not look it, but it is. Okay, now we are ready for that topping. Now for this topping, I just use my fingers. And since I'm doing this dish for, and friends and you know, we coming over and everything, and it's not just me and Jay, I went ahead and put on some gloves. Um, and so what you do is I'm just gonna finish right here. I'm finishing mashing all of this up and it's pretty nice and thick. And then all I do, let me move this over here. I just take this, and it takes a few minutes to do it, but I just take little pieces of this and start dropping it all over. And if you do this, if you do this enough, then the little pieces kind of all end up kind of together and you can kind of mash them together. But you just can't take this and try to spread it because you'll have a huge mess. So it's better just to take little pieces and just drop this all over your casserole. So here we are. It's taken me about, I think, two or three minutes to do this so far. And now I just, I'm just going back. I've got quite a bit left. See how much is left. And I'll just go back and I keep dropping it where there are some empty spots. And then that way in a minute, once I've gotten it all done, I can just kind of go back with a flat spoon or 
something like that and kind of tap it into place. Okay, now here we are. I'll tilt it so you can see it a little better. And sometimes I'll go back with like a spoon or something and kind of mash these down, but I don't think I have to. I think it's pretty well covered. You see a little bit of that sweet potato and some little areas peeking through, and I think that's fine. I think that's pretty. So now let's head over to the oven. I have the oven over here on 350, and we're gonna slide this in, and we're gonna let this go for about 25 minutes and then we're going to check on it oh my goodness this sweet potato casserole y'all this smells so good i can't wait to eat it and look at it it is absolutely gorgeous be sure and check out that next video that's popping up and i will see you over there in a few minutes Bye bye